please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. Some feasts during this season include Trinity Sunday, the first day after Pentecost, Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ, Thursday of the second week after Pentecost, often celebrated on the following Sunday, Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Friday of the third week after Pentecost, Solemnity of the Assumption of Mary on August 15, Solemnity of Christ the King, last Sunday before Advent. The Confession of St. Peter Feast begins the week of prayer for Christian unity starting on January 18. Conversion of St. Paul ends this week of prayer on January the 25th. Presentation of our Lord and Purification of Mary is celebrated on February the 2nd. The Feast of St. Joseph, Guardian of Jesus, is celebrated on March 19. The Feast of the Annunciation of Mary is on March 25th, and the Feast of Mary's Visitation to St. Elizabeth, her cousin, is on May 31st. The Feast of St. John the Baptist on June 24th, St. Mary Magdalene on July 22nd, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary on August 15th, St. Francis of Assisi on October 4th, the Immaculate Conception on December 8th, and the Holy Innocents, Martyrs, December 28th. The Feast of the Solemnity of the Assumption of Mary, which is the same as the Eastern Orthodox Feast of the Domitian, celebrates the end of the earthly life of the Virgin Mary and her bodily Assumption into Heaven. The Catholic teaching on this feast was defined as dogma on November 1, 1950, by Pope Pius XII in the papal bull, Munificentissimus Deus. The Immaculate Conception celebrates the belief in the sinlessness and Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. It was formally defined by papal encyclical in Ephibilis Deus by Pope Pius IX on December 8, 1854. It is celebrated on the 8th of December, nine months before the Feast of the Nativity of Mary on September 8. By pontifical decree, she is the patroness of America, Argentina, Brazil, Italy, Korea, Nicaragua, Paraguay, the Philippines, Spain, and Uruguay. Lesser feasts and commemorations include St. John Bosco, Gregory the Great, St. Patrick, St. Anselm, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Athanasius, St. Monica, St. Dominic Savio, St. Anne, Mother of Mary, St. Dominic, St. Augustine of Hippo, St. Michael, St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, St. Teresa of Avila, the 1969 revision by Pope St. Paul VI divided feast days into solemnities, feasts, and memorials, corresponding approximately to Pope St. John XXIII's three classes of feast days, while some of the memorials are considered obligatory, others are optional, permitting a choice on some days between two or three memorials. 
on a day to which no obligatory celebration is assigned. The Mass may be of any saint mentioned in the Roman martyrology for that day. Because of the dominance of Christianity in Europe throughout the Middle Ages, many features of the Christian year became incorporated into the secular calendar. Many of its feasts remain holidays and are now celebrated by people of all faiths and in some cases worldwide. The secular celebrations bear varying degrees of likeness to the religious feasts from which they derived, often also including elements of ritual from pagan festivals of similar date. The Catholic Church celebrates All Saints Day on November 1st with the eve of this feast, All Hallows Eve, Halloween being October 31st. The following day is All Souls Day, November 2nd. In all the last three weeks of ordinary time of the liturgical year, the Sunday readings are given direct attention to the themes of hope and the coming of the Kingdom of God, thus ending the liturgical year with the second coming theme. Beside emphasizing prayer, penance and spiritual themes that help bring us closer to Christ, the coming of Christ theme is also one of the predominant themes of the season of Advent that begins the liturgical year. Please go to YouTube Retirement Tality channel for your favorite playlists on the Catholic Christian teachings and other uplifting materials.